Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about AWS SAM like serverless application model. I will talk about how we can configure in CLI and what some of the basic command how we can utilize that SAM CLI in our uh, Windows system basically. I will talk about that. So before that what we need to do, we need to install the SAM CLI module in our Windows system. So let me show you that how we can install that SAM. CLI. Okay. So if you click on here, basically it's a serverless application model, right? So if you go down here, here multiple option is there that we can install this SAM CLI either is a Linux. If you want to install it in Linux, then these are the steps we have to follow. And here all these things, and then we have to unzip and then we have to do these other step. Okay and if you want to install that saml in mac then we have to follow these are the option here multiple option is there we can follow as per your mac version okay our user okay guys and if you uh, our agenda today is we will install this saml to in our windows system so what we need to do uh, we need to download this saml cli here so let's click on the download button don't worry guys i will give this all the link to this video description for your reference okay guys so this is how in this three platform we can install so every details is provided by aws document so now download in progress and also i will talk about some of the command also so first let's install this so it is done so let's like accept click on next so before install as let me show you one thing here guys so let me just quickly show you that one thing. CMD. Okay. And Sam. Don't have Sam right here. Sam is not recognized, right? So let us install now. Yes. So installation in progress once it is done then we are good to see that sam in cli in our local so to install uh, like one more thing guys keep in mind if you want to use the sam right before that we need to configure aws cli uh, in our windows system otherwise you cannot use that so how we can configure the cli i have already talked about in my previous session what we need to do we need to like uh, let me show you just quickly aws config meantime okay if you use that this command right then we will ask you like uh, enter that access key and then it will ask you that uh, secret id then which region you want to use right so those part it will ask you okay so configure if you just type this command so it will ask you please enter the access key i have already configured here so if you want to use the saml this is the prerequisite thing we have to do before installing this saml we have to configure aws cli as well okay guys so now installation is almost done so now let's see so sam will not recognize because this is not a new so let us take one more time just cmd So SAM version is installed here and this is the SAM and there are uh, multiple command we can use so SAM then we can see which all commands to start the SAM basically get start SAM in it so this is the command will initialize that application okay guys in my next subsequent video I will talk about how we can create application by using this saml and then how we can see that application in, uh, in that uh, by jam or then i will talk about more details on that and this is the command we are going to use for in uh, like initializing our application and there could be multiple option is there okay guys multiple command so let me just quickly show you that all the command sam build is there sam delete deploy init list sam list and then we have sam like uh, logs is there packages is there public sync trails and validation right 
there are multiple command in my subsequent video i will talk about some of the command uh, in deep details okay guys so just quickly show you that if you just type sam list see i have not yet initialized anything right so maybe it won't come more details here and if you want suppose sam logs if you want to check the logs you can check the logs see the logs also uh, sam, otherwise if you would, don't know that uh, how the command will be looks right then you can just type that sam log help then here we can see like what all option is required sam log stack name and then uh, stack if you have any function then function name something like the sam log hyphen hyphen stack name my stack but now we don't have any stack also so we cannot check this log for the particular stack in my next subsequent video i will show you this all the deep details okay so today our agenda just how we can install and how we can check that uh, sam in our in, uh, windows system so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable then i will request you guys please subscribe my channel share surrounding with your friend that will really inspire to me and that will really help to me okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye